All right, Gary, what are we playing this week? Uh, well, Cole, you know that you can, uh, through certain companies, customize a lentil of Skittle to have a name on it uh, for like a can. wedding or what have you. Yeah, we did something similar to this with M&M's recently. Yeah, like a Caden and, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, and we all know about Skittle Brow. <laughs> We do know exactly about Skittle Brow, which is uh, a beer with a bunch of Skittles in it. I told you about the time I made Skittle Brow, right? I think making Skittle Brow is uh, a rite of passage because I have also made Skittle Brow. Mm-hmm. It just bubbles <laughs> over. It's, yeah. It's, it's make, it's, you make a mess, Brow. Um, yeah. I, I ruined a whole 40 with it. <laughs> yeah. Same. I it, And it was a 40 because that's the time. That's the age yeah. in which you fuck around with Skittle Brows. <laughs> that's what you do. God, yeah. if, if, if you have a if you have a similar story to that, please yeah. let us know because oh my God. that is a that is a weird bit of conversion evolution. <laughs> it's like woods porn. Uh, um, <laughs> so I've combined those two things. I've taken a bunch of games, customized them onto lentils of Skittle, put the Skittle into Skittle Brow, which I'm then going to shake up and spray all over your titties. Okay, in cool. this wet T-shirt contest, and we'll see which one sticks. Okay, yeah, you know. Well, uh, so let me uh, let me skittle brow it up. Yeah. All right, shake it up. All right, all right, and oh, 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 yeah, no, uh, ow, ow, ow. A couple of those yeah. are thunking. What's weird yeah. is I was expecting it to be cold, but it's actually room temperature. I did that for you. I warmed Thank it up. You. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want your nipples to get hard <laughs> in the wet cold shirt contest. I, I and then that's my whole day. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I also have a real problem with my nipples being hard. <laughs> is this is this the podcast where we discover things that we didn't know or forgot that we had in common? Uh, I you know I'm gonna uh, back away from that. I wasn't being serious. I thought it would be funny oh. just to say, oh, then that's my whole day. Uh, as though uh, my as though my nipples being hard would be a uh, a problem to deal with. <laughs> it, my my nipples are often hard at inappropriate times. Mm, okay. Uh, I wish that there was like a, a pill or a shot I could take mm. to flatten them out. It's probably something like Botox you can do. Uh, to, There's probably uh, some Botox the, I could do. Yeah, uh, yeah. I could also cut them off. I don't need them. Yeah, uh, I, I have, I have nothing to say about male, male nipples. That's weird. Depending on what I replace them with, it could be a pretty cool look. Yeah, beer tips. like little skulls, like a oh. like mystique. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think yeah. those would get hard though. So I don't know. Ah, damn it. Something in a gummy saver. Uh, yeah. Anywho, uh, pick through those Skittles. They're they're stuck on your titties. Okay, uh, let me grab this one. All right, I see. It says Major League Eating the Game. All right. Okay. Yeah. It's not, it's not so bad. Hey, 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 Gary. Yeah. I, 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 we were supposed to record about this a while ago, and I'm glad that I didn't uh, say this to you. Uh, but you know, b- before before we didn't do it again, I went back and played a little bit more of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, th- this might actually be good. It's not so bad. <laughs> not uh, like, it, not, yeah, not like a hidden gem or anything. But there is definitely a point in my life, uh, a, a very skittle brow point in my life, where mm. this would have taken up more than a few weeknight or uh, weekend evenings yeah, in this, my this drunk good, ass college house. Yeah. Good drunk ass party house. Yeah. Game, absolutely. <laughs> uh, my name is Gary Butterfield. My name is Cole Ross. Welcome to After Suffering, where you have no idea how it feels to be a fembot living in a man bot, man, man bots, man pewter's world. Ooh. I like man pewter. Yeah. Man pewter. That's a, uh, that's a, that's a Futurama, uh, reference. Oh, I yeah, have no it was, idea. It's when they, uh, crash landed on the planet of the, of the Amazons. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've, I've, I've seen that episode, but I don't, I don't like Futurama that much. Yeah. I think it's merely okay. Like it's full of mids. Uh huh. Like it, it's just, it's an all mid show. It's uh, it's know? one of those shows. I, I, I agree with you. There was a time when I really enjoyed it more. I think I just overdid it watching it. Uh, I don't know that I've got a, a you know, it, it, it fell out of the rotation, particularly because yeah. of the mids. I, I don't, I, yeah, I, I cannot imagine a world in which I have a Futurama watch in me. Like yeah. I'm enjoying my King of the Hill watch. I have a bra- Bob's Burger watch at some point mm-hmm. in the future. Uh, I think I might do a Futurama watch before I did an American Dad watch. 
I'm not as hot on that show as, as you and Will are. Right. But right. I, I, uh, it's like Edge's Family Guy, but I don't think it's very good. Yeah. I just don't think it's that funny. I don't uh-huh. like the characters that much. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it, it fell uh, once I, once I started seeing that they were mostly commenting on the present in a very like transparent way, <laughs> mm-hmm. which is what science fiction does. I understand that. But like the, the absolute nadir, like the thing that really pulled the, uh, uh, pulled the curtain back on that was the, when they came back on comedy central and had the, uh, the iPhone, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It just, it feels a little lazy. Yeah. Uh, kind of, kind of a weak TV show. Uh, <laughs> unlike major league eating the game, which is not a TV show. And does not comment on things. <laughs> no, it's more of a, uh, uh, it's like a, so this is a gimmick game. Um, mm-hmm. It is, uh, this is a Gary pick also uh, yes. doing the tried and true. You just do, ga- you just do a search for games Choose about food. food. Yeah. Yep, I love, I love games about food. Yeah. Uh, I love food. It's so universal. Yeah, it is. Um, uh, yeah. If we, if we can't make an episode out of this, uh, then we got to stop trying. Uh, gotta hang up. Yeah. yeah, this is a it's a WiiWare game. This is the first WiiWare title we've done on the show uh, as well, uh, I believe. WiiWare. Yeah. yeah, like that that fucking era. Yeah. Uh, and I was pleasantly surprised to find that you just find ISOs for these just like Wii. Oh yeah. Games. It's not hard to emulate a WiiWare game, which is no. cool because I'm sure there's something in there that's good. That uh, uh Castlevania uh Game Boy remake. Oh, yeah. Reveal? Yeah, that like yeah. that is there's good shit in there. It's just you know, around a bunch Lost of stuff winds. like this. Yeah. yeah. Which is all, uh, I mean, like th- th- this is very much just a, you know, the classic Wii game of like, okay, you can kind of do anything and, and keep you with a huge asterisk next to it with the motion controls, anything. Uh, yeah. So why don't we take this thing that people seem to enjoy, which is the competitive eating and make a game that is about that. Yes. And as a game, it's all like fairly simple, yeah. you know, like it, it's a versus game about competitive eating where you have different motions that emulate different eating moves. Mm-hmm. And then you build up powerful farts and burps mm-hmm. in order to uh, assault your opponent and give them nausea. Yeah. Uh, you know, you've hit, you've had too many hot dogs and uh, <laughs> now you are ready to unleash a fart that will devastate your opponent and stop yeah. them from eating hot dogs. And they are consequently trying to do this with you as well. Um, and this could be a two player, a two player game, I believe, mm-hmm. um, you know, because you're, you're both, 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 both contestants have the same abilities. You are also trying to manage your nausea. Uh, and if you have to stop eating in order to do the little, uh, the little belly shake uh, to reduce the, the stomach goop meter, uh, then you're not making progress. Yes. The, the way that, uh, the mecha- the way that major league eating is a highly mechanical and like yeah. physical prop like sport it like is it's you stand up and you shake your body and this takes food goop that you yeah. barely chewed up and puts it into parts of your stomach that had previously not been used it, it settles to free it up down. surface room yeah yeah it's gross it's very gross. It's so nasty. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you're thinking, okay, like, what do you mean by eating moves? Because that is a phrase that you said, Gary. Yeah. You do eating <laughs> moves. <laughs> there are eating moves. There yeah. are eating maneuvers that you you have been eating. If you're listening to this, you've been eating your whole life. You uh-huh. know shit. There, there are whole <laughs> expert techniques and frame jabs and fucking reverse cancels and stuff <laughs> that you have never done in food one. Yeah. So yeah. so you're 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 going up against different um uh, against different competitors, right? Uh, I think you you start off going off uh, going against the Black Widow, right? But uh, mm-hmm. there are different kinds of food that have a different move. So like there's uh, there's typewriter moves uh, where you you like you're eating an ear of corn, right? So you've got to mm-hmm. you know move the <laughs> move the controller left and right in front of you. There's like poppin moves where you're eating meatballs and you've got to do like a little flick to uh, yep. to you know to pop a new one up into your mouth. And you know regardless of how you get the food into your mouth, you're also so uh, needing to time your uh, your chewing uh, yes. ag- against uh, the uh, like the little uh, icons that are going, and if you chew when the teeth are over an empty space, then you bite your tongue, and that gives you a little delay as you make an ouchy face and you know and and hold. So like this is a little bit like tapping your uh, rubbing your stomach and tapping your head at the same I was time. Just about to say that like it's a, yeah. a very engaging version. Of yeah. like you know rubbing your head and chewing bubble gum at the same time or whatever. 
Yeah. Uh, managing all these different plates to spin, all of which require a different little move to rotate the plate. Uh-huh. And and uh, the only no. the only thing that like made this fall down is just the Wii remote is not good. Like yeah. it just doing the move to make the uh you know to, to to make the next piece of food go into my body was not uh, was not reliable and it, attempting to make that happen distracted me from other uh you know fr- from the other stuff I was supposed to be keeping track of. Right? But imagine it in VR. With yeah. like those 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 physical grip motions and stuff you do during Resident Evil Four uh-huh. VR that would be really cool. It would feel like you're eating a corn. <laughs> can you imagine? I, I can feel the <laughs> picture, if you will, corn. Yeah, uh, I'd like you to close your eyes. Yeah, <laughs> the, uh, come um, with me. <laughs> the, the, uh, it's 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 surprisingly pretty fun. Yeah, you know. Uh, it, and then the uh, yeah. It's super yeah. gross. Like, like, like there's a, there, there's, a, there's a, the, the real, a real potty humor kind of, kind of angle to this, but yes. like, I, I don't know a big game in the house where I uh, lived where I, when I was in college, you know, in, in addition to like a uh, uh, Mario Kart and rock band and stuff was we really enjoyed the Wario wear smooth moves, you know? Yes. Just, we would you didn't hand, hand that back and forth and see how many uh, su- successful games we could, uh, we could play as we got drunker and drunker and drunker. If I had this, if I would have known that this would be like an $8 way for us to fucking embarrass ourselves, uh, this would have made the rotation. Yeah, it's very similar uh, in terms of like execution as like a bite sized smooth move. Yeah, the uh, thing. It also is a window into this world like that is our fandom of this is like, oh, this is kind of mechanically interesting and it appeals to our puerile you know, a fart dar, but there are people who are legitimately fans of this as a sport who probably yeah. got this because they wanted to see all their favorites. They want to be able crazy to play as Conti. Yeah. They want to, they want to play as Sonia, Sonia Thomas. They want to play as Joey chestnuts. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, fascinating. Yeah. Uh, uh, if, if you want to go for a fun ride, just do uh, any amount of research on the IFOC the international mm-hmm. federation of competitive eating uh it is hilariously corrupt uh it is a tradition that was just made up by a carnival huckster who made a deal with nathan's hot dogs and uh the actual story of what uh what happened with kobayashi uh and the way that they treated him uh is one of the most upsetting things that you like it, it is it, it is a professional sport insofar as they just straight up exploited somebody from another country <laughs> It, it, it is uh, it, it is in that uh, tradition yeah uh, it also allows you to like the stuff around this like i find this the i recently watched the king of the hill episode yeah, uh, king, yeah. Uh, competitive eating and like the attitudes around the the gurgitators <laughs> uh the attitudes around that are are just kind of gross you know like it's it just kind of like the the moral of that message like this is disgusting let's go <laughs> you know whereas there, there are people who really like it uh in the uh-huh. episode is kid rock and it sucks yes. but the um there are people who who legitimately take this seriously uh, on both sides of it, but it also means there are like books called things like Horsemen of the Esophagus, <laughs> the cover of which is just a nine pack of hot dogs. Oh my uh, god! And it just it's a nonfiction book about doing this called Horsemen of the Esoph- Esophagus. Wow! Uh, it's you get you find some weird shit. You Ohio do. house painter David Corndog Okarma. <laughs> <laughs> um david corndog okarma uh hey, I'm what not kind gonna, of hindi I'm, irish I, I, carnival hey, guy is that man hey uh, the, the, the 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 nickname on there i don't know that i'm even gonna say it because it's not corndog uh, uh that's it oh i bl- didn't i didn't see that <laughs> oh shit yeah oh no i thought yeah. that was corndog because uh-huh. I thought maybe because he ate lots of corn dogs. Yeah, that would be the way uh-huh. that you you would think. No, uh, I oh, yeah. Oh dang! Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't uh, eat corn dogs. He eats sweet potato pies. Yeah, and uh, also like all of, all of the random shit that uh, that that ends up being categories uh, for you know, the, the, like categories. And you'll hear like, oh yeah, I started out on Brussels sprouts, but then I moved on to Rocky Mountain oysters, and I figured it was time for the big show, so I moved up to hot dogs. <laughs> Yeah. Hot dogs being the uh the absolute pinnacle of this sport uh-huh. is pretty crazy to me because uh I like a hot dog. I don't turn my yeah. nose up at a hot dog. 
the way they have to ingest a hot dog, thinking about it makes me want to puke. No, I mean, like, the it idea just, of it, dipping an entire hot dog in water makes me want to die. Uh, uh, I, I feel like it's you, so you disgusting. Have to, you have to eat the bun. Uh, I'll say this: eating a plain hot dog also not really doing much yeah. for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, no, it just like the 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 competitive eating does for um does 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 for the the act of ingesting food. What like uh real like the descriptions you hear about like uh, filming porn. Which yes. is not just like, okay, two people just go at it and the cameras will catch what they catch, but like real you know, specifically like really heavily produced. It's like, okay, it's mechanical. Like you're just gonna go and do this. And so we need to get you doing this motion. We're gonna edit it together. Like just yep. it's how ten you, hours under hot lights. Yeah. How do you, you fully know? mechanize this in a way that saps it of all joy? These basic human things just turns it into uh, an act that does not resemble the base thing at all. Yeah. That, that's a good, that's a really great comparison. That's exactly what it's like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it sucks because I like a hot dog. Yeah. You know, you know which is why um, I've never tried to eat a bunch of them uh, in front of a crowd for money. I One of the things that I knew would could be a digression on this when I picked it. <laughs> how many hot dogs do you think you could put away, Cole? I mean, under ideal conditions. Ideal conditions. And it's how many could you, not how many would you like to. Like, I don't okay. want to hear you say, like, I can eat two hot dogs and feel good. Of course you can. Uh, so there's also a, like, a, like, a, like a time limit on this, right? Because how, how many... <laughs> yeah, not, not how many hot dogs do you think you'll eat for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> they, should, they should do more, like, cross-country major <laughs> eating. We're like, <laughs> you have a year. <laughs> a lot of sprints, it's a marathon. <laughs> yeah, like, just, uh, how many hot dogs? We're going to meet back. It's, it's uh, one of those art projects. <laughs> that, that takes those songs that take 20 years to finish. Yeah. We're going to check back on your kids. It's, it's boyhood. <laughs> uh, and we're going to see how many hot dogs you've had in 30 yeah. years. Okay. Four Carter administrations. <laughs> So this is this is difficult because you know if I am at a cookout and I am eating uh, and and I'm having stuff uh, like I'm not just having hot dogs you know so if sure. I if I am if I am having a hot dog meal uh, I yep. will often have two hot dogs and then some sides and fixins you know like okay. that is a that is a perfectly fine thing but no fixins no no uh, fixins no no fixins no no side you, dishes you yep. are in a you are in the lady of pains maze <laughs> and you have rounded a corner and here is a big pile of hot dogs that may as well be infinite. They're oh, hot. They're well cooked, but they okay. are just hot dogs with nothing on them. Yeah. And the lady of pain gives you a glance and then uh, one of the, the weird little daboos come out and they do uh-huh. a rebus that somehow communicates to you that you need to eat as many hot dogs as you can. <sighs> So this seems like it, it seems like it's going to be a lot because I'm a big guy, but also I've got tummy problems. You, you've also got the belt of fat. I do. Which yeah. Is, yeah. Which is a, well, that, a that, that, that's, that, that's, a, that's also a myth. That is, that, that is not oh. true. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, huh. You know, the, 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 king, the king of the hill uh, episode has been debunked. Yeah. I, well, I'd uh, see, I'd seen reference to that in oh, doing yeah, no. research about this like there's I didn't, a oh th- there's know. a very good uh there's a very good episode of behind the bastards uh about the ifoce uh that oh. is uh yeah uh that go that goes into a bunch of this uh huh. which i recommend people listen to it's a it, it is a good episode of that show uh but yes yeah, so i've got the i've got the belt of fat uh whether or not that's in play i could probably you know if i was not going to be planning to function afterwards probably do somewhere between 10 and 15 okay maybe yeah i i was no. gonna put myself at 10 yeah so i like I, I would need to express it as a range like 10 would yeah it, yeah it needs to be that it needs to be 10 yeah. to 15 we could make this happen <laughs> <laughs> for, for a duck fest if we wanted to I, but like no but i've got to do stuff i have to be useful if it's a if it's a network what if function it's still, what if it caps off the evening <laughs> what a beautiful way to cap off the wait weekend to have will obliterate us both in a hot dog eating contest <laughs> 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 or or like dark horse jeremy like that the, oh yeah like, yeah that dude eats good and can eat yeah true yeah. Um, um <laughs> just like, oh God. Just just have people pay and fly across the country to just watch us destroy ourselves. <laughs> just like just, okay, first thing of the day, hot dog eating contest. And yeah. then it's just us just like it's a un- nap. <laughs> it's a long un- 
<laughs> uncomfortably rolling and writhing on the stage for the next nine hours. Like, oh, oh, my tummy. Ultima three. three. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so h- how about this? Is there any, uh, is, is there any particular food in the past that you have like done a challenge eat of like, uh, uh like gone to like uh, overindulgent at a at an all you can eat buffet or something like that. Uh, I've never done an officially one. I've done spice challenge things, but okay. not volume challenge things. Uh, and I have eaten too much uh, before. Now, as an adult, uh, I cannot finish a meal. Uh-huh. Uh, as an adult, if I go to a restaurant, I cannot eat all of the food. Restaurant portions For, are fucking wild. I know that that's like super wild. Nine, yeah. 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 Uh, it's just, I I very rarely finish food. Yeah. Uh, like typically for me, and this is not a weird brag because I'm not in good shape or anything. I'm not trying to like, you know, flex about not eating a lot. Uh, it's, it's little fat kid growing up thing that even makes me say that, you know, be pre-defensive about it. But Uh the, um, so like a typical day, like I will wake up, I eat an English muffin with peanut butter Uh or peanut butter toast. And then like yesterday I ordered some Thai food. And had half of it for lunch and half of it for dinner. And that that was me. Uh, That typically is what I eat in a day. Yeah. You know, uh, one restaurant portion split over two is pretty good. So now the answer is like nothing. I get full to the point of like not being able to eat anymore very quickly. Yeah. Back in the day when I could eat, eat though, uh, I could do like three trips to a buffet or like this is this is a sad story. I can't remember if I, I don't know if I told this before. Uh-huh. But one time uh my mom, she had a friend who had lived in a ranch outside of town. And she uh and that this lady were gonna go out and drinking or whatever, pick uh-huh. up dudes, and I was left at this woman's house uh overnight. And this woman had did not have a TV okay. or anything, and I did not have a Game Boy at this point. I had nothing. So it was just me in a house. Okay. Uh, with nothing to do. Um, uh, and it wasn't like late bleak. or anything. It wasn't like expected to go to sleep. Like they left at like six or something. <laughs> Jesus. Like it was, it sucked. Uh, this woman had horses out back, which scared me a lot. Cause they uh-huh. were just like, I could look at them and watch these shapes move back and forth. This is the, the night that I played Stratego against myself, which oh, I think God. I mentioned before. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> Which is really sad because, <laughs> you know, I knew where the bombs were. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, one, there was like literally nothing to like, I, you know, but one of the things I did during it's like, this. Like playing catch with yourself. Jesus, yeah, dude. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fucking bleak, man. I, I had a bad childhood. Uh, but one of the things I did in this because I was so bored and because I was a little roly poly fat kid was I ate like a challenge amount of drumsticks out of a basement freezer I found while exploring this jail. Oh, the, uh, the prepackaged ice cream treat. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I just, you, know, this might've been the beginning of like Gary eats when he's bored. Okay. Young fat Gary stuff, because I was like, yeah. I literally could not be more bored. Uh-huh. There was nothing for me to do other than eat ice cream. Th- that, that, that was a way for you to experience any sensation or incident. Yeah. Was... It's not even joy. It's just, yeah. just in- experience incident. Yeah. You know, I didn't, uh, I, I don't remember all the details around this other than it happened. So I don't know if my mom was like, bring a book. And I was like, no, <laughs> I, I can't imagine I was though. Cause I was a reader at this time. Right. You know, I don't know what circumstances conspired to get here without any support structure whatsoever, yeah. but ice cream and solo Stratego was, was basically it. But that is probably the most gluttonous contest ED thing I've ever done is like a big box most uh, of it i didn't want to finish it because i didn't want to have evidence right it, but most of like a big box of drumsticks okay uh man that much dairy at one time that's uh now i would have to do that in a grave oh <laughs> i was gonna you know? say like okay i'm gonna call 911 we're going to do yeah. this on the ride to the you hospital call nine and one <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna eat a box of drumsticks and you press one when i get to the last one <laughs> yeah uh the only thing the only thing that i've really uh uh done uh f- food it, it, uh, alcohol this is a different story mm-hmm. uh you know but uh but food it was a tradition in high school and then extended into college was all you can eat shrimp at a uh, red lobster Mm, um yeah and you know like that was it, this is gonna this is gonna be mortifying but it was like a group of like 12 of us 
uh you know, like like a whole bunch of us sitting around a big table i think I, like the most that i put away was 130 shrimp Ooh, yeah that's a lot of seafood man that is a lot of seafood uh yeah. and uh, i was not the person who did the most uh they're, wow. they're like they're not they're not big shrimp you know like i wasn't the star the star of this show but like we we all threw the tails on a big pile in the middle or on, a, on a plate in the middle <laughs> of the table and they bring out the <laughs> they bring out the extra servings on like uh, at least back then they brought them out on uh small little plates you know small little okay. saucers and it got to the point you know we wanted to have the towers of the saucers uh you know as a as physical evidence of our prowess uh stacked up on the table like they had to like the manager had to come out and say hey we're gonna need we're gonna need those back uh because <laughs> other people want to use those plates for their shrimp that, that's we incredible. need to wash we need to wash them and get them back in circulation <laughs> that, that's so grisly i i'm trying to imagine being in the car with that crew on the way home oh there's something about like you know this this game being about nasty farts in a lot of ways uh-huh i don't know if it's superstitious but like when I think about qualities of fart, uh-huh. uh huh, uh, um, like a contest level of shrimp fart, uh, yeah. really gets me. Like that, that just seafood, mm-hmm. a lot of seafood. Yeah, yeah, you know, hundred and hundred and three little shrimps in your belly that yeah. didn't exist. All it would take is not deveining one of them. <laughs> you know, it's like a it's just taking your life in your hands, man. Yep. Oh, shrimp. No. Did this uh, did this a few years in a row, and uh, I will mm-hmm. still occasionally. Uh, Chris and I sometimes, uh, at least mm-hmm. pre COVID, we would we would go, but it, not for challenge reasons. It was like, oh, they've got different varieties. They've got a fun sriracha coconut shrimp now. Yeah. This will be fun. So you turn my nose up a, a shrimp. Like I would. Yeah, I put away twenty shrimp. Yeah, but you it's know, for uh, it, it, was, it was it was for variety's sake. But yeah, this is like wet and wild senior year of high school and into college kind of stuff. Yeah. That big pile of tails is a really gross testament. Yep. You know, that that's a, you know, there's something about foods like, you know, lobster. We talked about this with lobsters, but like also with yeah. chicken wings where uh-huh. you're just doing a dissection. You know, I, I had a buddy who ate shrimp tails. He's oh, like, you don't eat yeah. them? I'm like, no. And he's like, yeah, they're just little crunchy treats. I'm like, you're fucking no, insane. God, no. That's disgusting. No. <laughs> like, you just like chew just on them. Just... Like, like he's Huck Finn and it's a piece of hay. You just pop them in. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ah, uh, it's so like gross. I've, I've accidentally yeah. taken a little bit of tail with a uh, with too much yeah. of a, a bite. It's awful. It's like biting into a bug because that's like what it is. A fingernail. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's like eating a fingernail. Uh, no. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. I don't. Uh, yeah. I don't care for that. I don't care for that one bit. Mm-mm. No. I th- there. So looking and looking at foods that they do major league eating for. There's a there's a real dearth of like bizarre foods that I'd really like to see. Yeah. Like, what about? I understand why they don't do this, but what if they did major league eating for salad, and it was done by the yard? Like, <laughs> it, it was a big silo of salad. <laughs> you had to eat your way down, and you measure it in distance. Oh, they you, could do you that can't for count salads. I they mean, could do kind of can, but but I mean, but like by weight, maybe possibly. Yeah. Huh. No, but but just uh, do, do, doing it by uh, by by. <sighs> unit of length as opposed to uh as opposed to you know unit of unit makes me think of uh party subs like how yes. how many how many feet of party sub can you eat it could be a race like you start at one end and you have to get to the other end. oh it's a lady in the tramp thing yeah yes you know with, with joey chestnut and kobayashi at both ends of the thing <laughs> and when they get together they they kiss yeah you know? it's finally settling the beef once and for all yeah yeah it was just an absolute party sub kiss <laughs> <laughs> uh, a, a thing that is a little bit like a like you know n- not a bummer but it explains why some of the uh some of the foods are a little uh a uh, little, little uninspired or weird is that oftentimes these are associated with like state fairs or regional fairs oh, yeah and so like you're like oh here's the ochre eating contest and it's like oh yeah this is just like one town in yeah. uh, nebraska that grows a grows a bunch of okra it's the okra the festival okra council yeah cool yeah. Well, and that's why the, the hot dog one is so famous is because Nathan's yeah, yeah. hot dog and Nathan's hot dogs are good. Like that's a high oh, yeah. quality hot dog, well, especially um, at the, uh, especially at the Coney Island location itself, because that's the one place where they serve them, uh, in the actual casings, you know, mm-hmm. it's not yeah. the, like the kind you buy at the store. So you get that nice snap. They should make uh, one of these things that just for casings. Whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> and not just hot dog casings. Various. <laughs> yeah. Shrimp casings tails. Casings miscellaneous. Yeah. yeah. Shrimp tails, chicken wing flats. They're left over. Just all the great. It'd be like when Steve Brule was behind the dumpster getting the free seafood. <laughs> not the free seafood, no. <laughs> like, this is not bad. It's pretty good. <laughs> oh uh, my god yeah uh, oh man competitive <laughs> eating i'm at a disadvantage here because uh my web browser uh mm-hmm. just quit and i don't want to reopen it because it might ruin everything uh so i don't have my tabs you can't you can't go to the uh the game facts thing where the message board from vid king with the uh the title the post how the heck do you eat food <laughs> <laughs> Which I just, Hi, I, my name is Hugh Man. Yes, it, Hugh Man. Yeah, uh, that's the, the ticket. How is food work? It was it was made by two people who are monsters for different reasons. But I have tons of affection for the best of the weekend web. Okay, on something awful. Oh yeah. And did you watch yeah. those? Uh, oh, you know, animated yeah. by a bad guy, written you know, curated by a bad guy. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, there's the one where the person just goes, "How the fuck do I have sex?" I think I deserve an answer. <laughs> I think I deserve an answer. <laughs> I think I deserve an answer is such a funny postscript for that. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the, 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 the one message board topic that I can remember is uh, just a, a, a shitty easy joke. Uh, but it was somebody saying like, sorry, Rosie O'Donnell has been ruled out for competitive play. Uh, good. Yeah. Good one, bud. Nice early 2000s burn on that lady. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> awful. Awful. Um, there's a lot of just weird uh, Jay Leno just dissed people who play this. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. The, the, I could see this being a game where uh, just as part of yeah. an opening monologue. Have you seen this? Yeah, Have you heard so about this? Video games. Really. They're doing everything in video games now. Yeah. What a. <laughs> What a nightmare yeah. human Jay Leno yeah. is. I, I do hate him. Yeah. They should make a game about sleeping. So this person. Competitive sleeping is a great idea. Oh, God. I'd be awful at it. Who, who's the? Oh, I, no, terrible. I, I would not even be able yeah. to do little, little League sleeping because I, yeah. I, I've i always been bad at sleeping. I can't feel like tether sleeping. <laughs> tea, tea, tea sleeping. <laughs> like, but just like, like who, who's the sleepiest little guy? The sleepiest yeah. little guy contest? The, the, who's sweeping the Nemos this year? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god can, can you imagine just like buying technical pajamas you yeah. know <laughs> performance pajamas yeah this this cools down your core enough to make sure you're in your in your z zone <laughs> it's, it's a great idea yeah um man if only it were 20 years ago and we could do an adult swim infomercial about it <laughs> you know competitive sleeping is very good yeah. uh, oh. but then somebody somebody gets uh, uh popped for uh for juicing they, they just uh, yeah. they've got dimetap yeah you know they've got a melatonin like wrist syringe and they're, they're <laughs> putting it into their body <laughs> they're they're microdosing fenugrin <laughs> yep. and then uh like in casino they bring him back and smash his hand with a hammer <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah, the sleep or the hammer which one you want to use? <laughs> Man, competitive sleeping. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I would like it just to get some tips. Uh huh. I'd like I to wanna, watch it and, and learn. I want to learn the secret of the sleeping stars. I, I would, I would, I would learn the sleep, the secrets of the sleeping into no sages. Yeah. I, I yeah, I, I would, man, I would kill to be able to sleep really well. I, I should really just go to a doctor and do a sleep stuff. Uh, pro- like, yeah, I can, no, I, I was thinking that too. Yeah. yeah, no, it could probably be uh, like knocked out in a couple of days. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, no, I was, I was thinking that. Like, just a, <laughs> I had a miracle this afternoon before we recorded. I was like, I'm gonna get take take a little nap. I have a headache, and it's like, okay, I lay down. I've got 20 minutes, and then in the, over the course of 20 minutes, I fell asleep and woke up and felt refreshed. Which is yeah. not a thing that ever happens. So, the power nap is what they call that. Yeah, it's incredible when it works. I've only done it a couple of times, but yeah. it just you ordinarily twenty minutes is like me. I I sleep like people eat in Europe. You know, like I, I, <laughs> I start like six hours before the event, <laughs> and then yeah. like begin with some light conversation, and then 
Like, yeah. you know, it's, it's a whole thing with many, many movements. <laughs> yeah. To do 20 minutes. That's enough time for me to get probably 35, 40 rotations, uh, yeah. turning over from back to stomach, trying to get comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> Man, it's hard. Uh, thanks me. Yeah. For good suggesting ca- this game. Good catch. I, I'm not going to promise. I, I So a little preview. There's a game I want to do that will end up a mini off. Yes. That I want to do for this. I just want, I want to replay it. Uh-huh. Uh, so I'm not done Googling games based on food, but <laughs> uh, I do have something that's not that in case people are sick of it. Okay. You know, cool. th- this is a nice apotheosis of that arc, I think. It at is. At least yeah. for a time. I mean, at least it got the story about boredom eating drumsticks in an I, empty house while you played Stratego against yourself. I'm sure I said Stratego alone, but I maybe didn't provide the context for it. So when I had said that before, it was funny. The, the, and then now <laughs> this time, the tragedy of it sunk in because yeah. you realize it wasn't just like, huh, I'm kind of bored. I could yeah. play, you know, Game Boy, but I choose not to. Yeah. No, it, it was an abuse situation. Uh, more okay. Or less. Yeah. So, uh, neglect but, at the very least. Yeah. No. It's Oof. like how we're, we're covering American movie this month. And the first time, the last time I saw that, I didn't know what elder abuse was. Yeah. And, now I kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> and once you do, it doesn't feel so great. It, it's yeah, still, it's a little, you know, it's still good, but it's a little hinky. <laughs> it's a little, yeah. little sus. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah I wish Bill. I never knew about what that was. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh. oh man but mark's the only one who takes care of bill too so it's it's it's, it's, it's elder abuse it's with one hand and elder petting with the other yeah like it's you know it's both oh man um, uh yeah but thanks everybody we appreciate you yeah uh if you're listening you can go to patreon.com slash doug tv support the network get extra stuff two bonus episodes of this show per month um and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff yes uh, and leave us range reviews on Apple podcast podcast addict. Uh, if you get, if you patronize us at a certain level, you can pick a game for us uh-huh. to do. Uh, and that was great. I love it when we get those bring something mm-hmm. to our attention. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think that's probably just about everything. That's about uh, it. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, until, uh, until next time. <sighs> me, 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 me. I'm practicing my, my sleep. Mm hmm. There's that third step sometimes when cartoons snore. Okay. Where they go like, <laughs> me, 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 me. Yeah. Like when Huey, Dewey, and Louie do it, each of them does one of those things as if you're breathing out, breathing mm. in, and then a third thing that, no <laughs> knows, that only ducks do, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we, we, we lack the necessary organs. Yeah.